Hey everybody, Alex Weaver here following our second road course race of the season at Sonoma Raceway. And in case you missed it, our Bushlight pole sitter, Denny Hamlin, went from first to last by the end of the race. It was lap 90 that he ends up hitting the inside wall, breaking the toe link. He does finish the race, but not the day that the number 11 thought they were going to have. But these road course specialists always show up when we make right and left turns. And it's no surprise that the likes of AJ Allmendinger and Michael McDowell, who have so much experience on road courses, tend to finish in the top 10 when we come to places like this. But making a case for himself is the 17 of Chris Busher. This is his seventh straight top 10 on a road course, which is tied at the streak eight all time. Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, and Terry Labonte. So some high rankage there for Chris Busher and hoping to maybe turn it around when we head to our next road course of Watkins Glen. The king of wine country has returned. Martin Truex Jr. has another glass of red wine, another checkered flag here at Sonoma. We spoke with James Small in Victory Lane and I asked him if it was just the fact that they had the fastest car on the racetrack. We did have a damn fast car, but you know, it's still difficult there, that last green flag cycle. We're just trying to manage the gaps to make sure we wouldn't come in traffic and just have a clean run to the end. So. Uh, yeah, no, it was great work by everyone today. We hope that you enjoyed the race here, the right and left turns of Sonoma Raceway. And now it's time for an off weekend, and then we'll see you in Nashville.